Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 5. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm hanging out here up by my hidey hole. We're going to turn around real quick and go over some of the changes since last time. So let's do that, shall we? Bring back the HUD. I'm currently on with a whole lot of people, and I've got chat turned off, so I'm probably going to miss some stuff, but you never know what they're going to say. So we need to uh, keep that to a minimum. Commands will be showing up from time to time. We've got a server restart probably in, oh, let's see, my time. It's about 50 minutes, so hopefully we'll be done by then. So uh, what have I done since we were last yet? I have not done much. I want to keep you here for some of the beginning advancements. So I haven't done much, right? So we don't have, uh, don't have a shield, don't have any of this stuff, don't have diamonds. Yeah, so we've got some things to take care of. And so I did go back down in that ravine that uh, we initially found in our last time together. And I got a little bit more iron. So what I want to do is make a bucket real quick. And that way we can see about getting some lava. And I'm going to see if we can do that while on a little bit of a journey. We're going to just jump right into it rather than do any more digging down here. We are just going to take this with us. And we got some lag. Some of us talking about some potential lag here. Got some villager issues. And I'm not going to take uh, any of this stuff with me. We'll leave that here for somebody else. So I'm just going to close up shop and we'll say, uh, we'll, we'll change out the sign whenever it comes to me. Okay. Did I get... Yeah, I got a sign. So let's say Soap's former hidey hole. There we go. All right. And we are all going to go off this direction. Let's see. Well, I need to probably look at going west because that's where they said they said Spawn Town was. So let's go see what Spawn Town has to offer. And then uh, we will go to... Uh, we'll go on a journey towards what I actually want to do for this particular uh, this particular map. And you know what? While I'm at it, we should probably get some shears, okay? Just in case, you never know what you might find as you uh, as you go along. But uh, let's see, we've got a pillar of something, okay? And we'll go through here. I, They said spawn was somewhere this way. Oh, and I'm hurting for food. That's the other thing that we're going to be needing to find. Oh my goodness, the lag is horrendous. All right. So I don't quite know where town spawn is. I'm sorry, pig. Okay, the lag is just terrible today. Okay. So I don't quite know where this is. So I'm going to bring you back once I get to spawn town and show you what everyone else on the server has been up to. And then we will go about our business. All right. See you in a bit. All right. It did not take that long. We just came into this desert that I had uh, just shown up to. And look in the distance. Look at this. I wonder. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have. We've got the one bed sleep system, so uh, we're not doing too shabby here. Whose is this? This is nice, but I don't have anything that's really worth climbing over. I don't have depth strider boots yet. We really need to get on that, but yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. The lag is real. All right, so here we are. This is Hypermine Spawn. Somebody has been doing the work. My goodness. Already been to the nether. Got the new blocks there. Very nice. Whose is this? I have no idea. Any signs around? I don't want to just go traipsing through, but that looks nice. And then over here, a little bit of a road, I guess. And then whose is this? Is it crying obsidian? All the new nether blocks. We've got the black stone... Got the Nylium. Oh my. That. That looks really good. All right. We got some roads going in. And then 
Aha, there are some cattle. That's good. My, my, my. People have been doing the work. All right, so I am going to avail myself of, you know what, all of the sheep. Yeah, why not? So we will have our pick of beds whenever that should occur. Okay. Plenty of stuff. All right. So, yeah, here's, here is town spawn or spawn town, or I'm not sure what we're going to be calling this. Wee woo llamas. Oh, I get it. Yes. Yep. Those are going to be for our justice of the peace who is going to live somewhere around here. What's this? JB's humble abode. Yeah, humble abode, indeed. This is nice. Humble? Huh. Wow. He's he's getting it done. And then over here. See anything else? Okay, it looks like the road stops. So the concept here is we're going to have circular roads all around Spawn Town. We're going to be building out around that. But I don't have uh, where I want to set up yet. So we're not going to stick around Spawn too much. We're going to continue about our journey. All right. And this is going to be a little bit of a walkie-talkie episode. And I'm sorry for it. But yet I'm not sorry for it. All right, so let me reveal a little bit about what our plans are or what my plans are for the season. I am going to build a witch farm. And that means I need to go find a witch hut. Now, uh, a couple of witch huts have been found and shared on our shared Discord. Uh, you know what? While I'm at it, maybe I should make a bed uh, just so I can contribute while we're, uh, while we're heading out that way. And we will survive... On the fly as we go. Uh, what kind of bed do we want to make? Uh, how about a gray bed? Let's do that. All right. So we got that. And. Okay. We'll pick up our. Our table there. All right. So I said. I don't want to do any more digging over in the hidey hole. I often spend way too much time in the initial hidey hole. And then eventually get out into a proper base area. But I've got way too much stuff to worry about uh, uh, carrying back with me. And so what I want to do is just get to where my overall base location is going to be. And that's going to be at a witch hut. So that is our objective. We're going to go off in search of one. And what we need to do is make sure that we do have some, uh, what's, what's the word? We've got a couple of requirements. So that's spawn town right there. There are architectural guidelines that we have to follow while we're in there. And um, for my main base, I don't want to have to worry about that so much. I'm not opposed to the architectural guidelines, but uh, for for where I'm going to spend the bulk of my time, um, well, we want to we want to be over there. So uh, yeah, we're going to get over to, or we're going to attempt to find a witch hut if we can find one there's a horse don't really care so much about that and then uh, the other restriction that we have is that we need to stay within 5,000 blocks so uh, we've got oh this is something hmm interesting yeah so uh, what, what we need to do is just be mindful of how far we're going. And we're going to go off in search this way. Now, while we do this, here at the start, we're going to chat about what's been going on in my life since uh, we last... Well, I mean, uh, we started... Restarted the recording, right? And I didn't really tell you anything about what had been going on and what had caused some of the changes... And so I want to, you know, give you a little recap and let you know how things have been going. It's been about a year and a half or so. And yeah, I want to uh, just kind of talk about that. So let's do that for a little bit. 
And while we make the server struggle even more, we'll see if we can find a swamp. Yeah, server's probably is going to really be struggling. Now we have our own world border, I guess. Yeah, so what's been going on? Uh, since we were last together in uh, more of this talky style of Minecraft, let's get rid of the F3 screen while we're at it. Um, I, I had just switched places of employment, and then I'd been working there for about a year, or you know, about six months, half a year maybe, uh, a little bit over that. And then, uh, since that time, I've actually gone back to where I'd been working previously. So I'm, I, I've switched back to where I was working, a little bit different position, and um, yeah, I found, you know, some interesting things I found out about myself as I was going through that whole process that um, the place that I had been working, I, you know, it's a still a great place to, to work, good set of people to work with, but um, the, the big thing that I found I was really looking for and missed was just being around or being able to go actually meet with the people that I work with on a regular basis. And I couldn't do that because I was much more remote than, uh, than when, than at the position I'm in right now. So I can actually travel back to the main office fairly easily. Not right now, of course, because we've got the whole coronavirus thing going on. So we got to keep that in mind. But uh, I hear a skeleton. I hope it does not come for me. I am not set up for it. I need to get some food and quick. How much? Yeah, I've got enough raw pork chops. So Let's get some of this going, shall we? Uh, we'll put one here and get that going. All right. All right, so we got a roof forest over here. And we'll go a little bit further, but not too far afield because, you know what? I've already lost my... Ha! Huh, I've already lost it. That's terrible. Oh, that's funny. But there it is, okay. Yeah, let's let's put down a torch so we at least know where where we were. Okay, so while we wait for some yummy pork chops to get done, let's get this real quick. Yeah, so uh, that's one big change since the last time we were together. And then also, uh, well, you know, that's really the big thing. Nothing, nothing other than that. My kids are older. They're now playing Minecraft, which has been kind of fun. I've got a server that I've started with them. A little plug for that. Uh, I am recording on there as well from time to time. We're going to be doing, uh, what's the word? Tour videos rather than actual uh, Let's Play videos. So I play with them um, on the weekend. We get a server started up and then we just have a couple of days where a couple hours each uh, on Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. And, and we build stuff and have little adventures together. So it's been kind of fun to be able to share that with them and them actually getting into a computer game and uh, becoming proficient at it. It's really neat to see. So a little plug for that. If you want to see some of what they have been building and I've been building on that server, feel free to go check that out. And yeah, okay, so Captain Q has gone. Yeah, so after the restart, apparently there will be some changes to the overall server and hopefully the lag will disappear. JB Warsmith left the game. It could be because it's really late where JB is. He is over in the UK. And yeah, that may be a bit much for well, it's a, it's a little bit late. It's late for me. It's got to be really late for him. Alright, so that's good for now. We've got a few pork chops. Alright. And it looks like our lag is getting better. Anything else of major effect or major consequence in my life since we were last together uh, you know off the top of my head maybe it'll come to me as i drop back and just head towards a uh, uh or at least start looking for a swamp that has a witch hut but i'm not going to carry you along for 
this whole journey because it may be a while before we find anything worth noting. And so um, I'm not going to go through a dark oak forest because that's just asking for trouble. But let's go over here to this village and see what we can find. It could have been raided already, but we'll see. It's pretty rare that I've done these types of adventure videos before. Um, you know what? Wait, do I have room? I don't have room in my inventory. Uh, what would we get rid of? Hmm. 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 Yeah. I don't know that we'd get rid of anything right now. There's a cat. Nice. Any treasure or anything? I don't know if anyone's been over here. Iron right, Golem. Let's go up here. Anything? Cartography table. Uh, yeah, that looks like it was not fully generated there. In here? Hey, guy. Stuck in the ceiling. All right, well, we'll continue along our journey. I'm going to stop here for a little while, and if I come upon a swamp, I'll bring you back. But otherwise, that is my objective. And that's where we're going to set up our base. And that's where I'm going to do most of the advancements and all of this initial stuff. Because you might as well be progressing towards what you want. And I need a fully lit up witch farm perimeter. So uh, we might as well do all our caving over at a swamp. Right? So I'm going to keep going. And I will see you when we get to a swamp of interest. Well, it's not a swamp of interest, but if I'm reading these advancements correctly, we should get an advancement here. Excellent. But let's get that out of our hotbar so we don't accidentally drop the lava uh, on, on ourselves. Yeah. So I am at an ocean, it looks like. So maybe it's time to put together a boat. So let's get that going. How much do I? Yeah, we'll do this and not that. A boat. And there we go. Let's get a crafting bench. And we'll go like this. All right, well, this is from the 1.15 update. We found some bees. Oh, and there's a dog. I don't have a bone, so I can't get it. So. Uh, we're going to take a screenshot here just for uh, grins and giggles. Maybe I'll be able to come back here, but I will take that. No. Oh, we got to make some more hard decisions. Let's see. We'll get rid of. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Let's do this again. Let's commands only. Uh, we need to get rid of, mm, it's hard, we'll have to get rid of the blue wool. But those wolves have made short work of all of the sheep around here. And I still haven't found a swamp. I know that in general, they tend to be near, are there, let's see, the way Minecraft works is each biome has a temperature setting and it's got a moisture setting there's more oh my look at this take that plenty of bees all around here i think there might be some more up here as well i saw a bee off in the distance maybe we'll come back to get these who knows who knows i need a silk touch for it yeah so anyway there's temperature and moisture setting and you have to match the two Sometimes swamps are close to dark oak forest because of the moisture setting. And then there can be, they can be close to jungles because of temperature and moisture. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm hanging around these. Oh, what is that in the distance there? That's the dark oak forest. Oh man. Okay. And I really don't want to go through there because of... They're, they they tend to be rather rather dangerous, and I'm not I'm not really geared up for it yet. So 
yep i guess i just got to keep keep on keeping on and we'll see you uh, if i find something interesting i won't bring you back for bees but hopefully a swamp when we let next come together well ladies and gentlemen here we go finally oh my goodness at the uh, long journey here and i don't even know if this swamp will have anything but we can at least look around can't we so let's do that we finally found one see we're near a forest and yeah birch forest there regular forest hills right there i think there we go so we've got to explore the edges we're kind of far out here we're pushing on the boundaries a bit but i think that's fine there you know there were a couple of witch huts found closer to spawn but it sounds like they're so close to spawn that uh, my plans might interfere with the town our spawn town plan so so we'll see hopefully this one has a witch hut in it if not we will have to keep searching but it's a fairly large swamp so let's just see if we can uh let's see over this way no uh, let's get rid of the f3 screen so i know that's not the most enjoyable thing to watch just ticking around up in the top corner how about over here anything you know some folks there were there were a couple of found and somebody has claimed one or has seemed to have claimed one but we'll see what ends up happening there and then there's another one we may fall back to if necessary but if i can find a witch hut out here that would be awesome and it is 10 o'clock i think we are close to yeah we're close to there it is all right back in a bit all right we are back from the server restart the nightly thing that happens and hopefully well i mean there were some changes that that occurred with that I've turned chat back on just so I can watch what's going on there. But uh, yeah, we need to poke around a little bit more here in this swamp. Got to look at the edges first, explore that, and then we'll look towards the interior. And we'll see if we happen to find anything resembling a witch hut. It'd be nice if we found one. Ooh, big drop. All right, so a few parameters if we do find one. You know what? No, no, no. We, we won't do that. The the plans for it. I, I, like, I like building witch farms. I really do. It's something I've pretty much done on every server other than maybe Hypermind Season 2 since one was already built. But I did. I, you know, I hung out there a lot. So, so, yeah. Oh, there's a skeleton somewhere close by. We don't want anything to do with that. For now it's down here Ooh. all right well i gotta keep keep looking here maybe we'll find a witch hut if we don't moving on to the next next swamp so let me poke around a little bit more and i'll bring you back if i find something of interest well ladies and gentlemen i told you i'd bring you back if i found something interesting i was walking around and i saw right through there you see her and you see the hut? Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. This will be fun. I've got to take her out. She's uh, she's on a speed potion, I think. This may end up pretty bad. So we've got to somehow take her out. And, uh, and not get killed ourselves. So, here we go. My kids said they want to bring, they want me to bring them along for this kind of stuff. And here we go. Let's, let's poke around. Is she, is she, where is she? There she is. So she's running around. What is she? Hmm. We kind of got to run up really quick on her and knock her out. 
So we'll see if we can do this. Okay. Hmm. You know what we need to do is set our spawn point. How about that? Let's do that real quick. We should be able to do go right here. Okay. Set the respawn point. And where did she go? She's hiding in the trees. That's going to mess up our approach. Let's see if she comes out from behind those a bit. No, she's going to stick over there. Got her. Okay. Excellent. And Monster Hunter while we're at it. Awesome. All right. So we've got a witch hut. Awesome. So one of the things we need to do is take a look at our, uh, at our surroundings here. What are, what are our coordinates? There used to be a bug in Minecraft and witch huts like this would cause problems. So or would not be, uh, would not work correctly. So I think what we'll have to do is a little bit of research, but um, I think for now we are going to set up here in this witch hut. And, and yeah, so let's get the bed and we will move over into the witch hut. Let's do this and okay. So some, some changes, or not some changes, some parameters for our plans here. Uh, I will need to do some testing and see if this particular witch hut will produce witches on all of the levels. And if not, uh, we will have to go in search of another one. But uh, tentatively, that's the plan for this season is living in and around a witch hut. And that's where our base of operations is going to be. So I'm going to move into this one temporarily. We'll do some testing later. And uh, I'll do that off camera. But you've been along for a couple of the advancements here. So we got, uh, let's see, up here, suit up, hot stuff, iron pit, no, up here, maybe, monster hunter. Okay. So yeah, we need to do a little bit of this. We need to get a bow. Yeah, I probably should have done some trading while we were at it. How about this? Sleep in a bed to change your respawn point. I did that already, but I guess it's got to be the sleep part. And we'll get into all of the farming and all that. So I wanted to just go ahead, get out of the hidey hole, and get into our final base. And here we go. This is probably going to be it, but we'll see. Um, I will do some testing off camera. I'll let you know what we find. And then next time we are together, we'll maybe do a little more of the advancement stuff. And hopefully by then I will have a mine set up also. And maybe we'll have some diamonds. Who knows? Uh, but I'm going to bring you along for the first picking of the diamonds. That's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the base plans, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>